All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? Right here, Legends, Cars Chronicles. So we're back with another video, and so this one is on um, – It's well, I think it's quite stupid, to be honest, and it's, it's a video of um, – couple of lads inside Parkley prison in New South Wales and um, so yeah this this is um, a, a, a rare insight into the 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 daily life of of the average prisoner in inside prison and um, you know n not everybody has has and does jail time like this but this is definitely an eye-opener that you guys need to see that is for sure, Rodeo. So anyway, let's get into it. But before I get into it, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's subscribed to my channel over the last month. Um, I'm really appreciative and to all my members as well. And um, yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Their memberships help me grow. And um, yeah, we're growing nicely and I'm very, very appreciative. And if you haven't joined my membership and you're keen on helping my page grow and, and, and supporting my page, you just hit that join button next to the, my subscribe button and that you'll be able to join my memberships. Alrighty, out. let's get into it. Recording inside of Park Lee Correctional Centre. Okay, on a day-to-day -day basis, this place is a dead set joke. Okay, it's a dead set joke. Right now I'm in my cell, I've got a mobile phone. Why have I got a mobile phone? It's because screws bring mobile phones into the jail for money. All right, now why am I carrying around a knife? like that why does that need to be in my hand at this point of time okay why have i got a slasher why do i need to slash people do i need to show you the slash marks this is on the wall so like you know i say the average prisoner I, I used to have both of those instruments very close by at all times and you know a lot of people do because that's what you need to do but also I can guarantee you that people would not have been happy with this guy making this video and posting it, that's for sure. That's just an example of what it can do to your throat, okay? That's a slasher. Now, that's off a f***ing TV, okay? That there alone will rip skin, damn it. Well, there you go. They tell you exactly how to make it. That's came out of the TV. So every cell gets a TV. Um, I know in New South Wales, the, the, the prisoners have to pay for their own TV. That's not the case here in Victoria. And, um, yeah, you know, that's a little secret that I wouldn't have been given away. And, um, yeah, and that's another reason why people wouldn't have been happy about this. Me too. All right, now seal that. That's the drug ice. Why have I got it? <laughs> because I can. Okay, now. What's this for? I don't know. Maybe I might hide the f***ing phone in there. Good idea. Anyway, let's get to so once again, that was like uh, some kind of a radio Walkman, um, which is pretty popular inside prison and um you know uh, most of the prisoners have have one of these things and um you know some of them a lot of the electronics while well, all of the electronics in victoria have this um security seal on it and if you try and take that tape off um it says void and and it's really hard to get off and um you know that the when they're doing searches they will pick up your devices and see if you have tampered with them and see if any of the tapes been tampered with but just another exact reason why that is an absolute joke and and that guy that that poor guy in, in that's in the um cell there you can see that they covered his face like he, he would have got his absolute head punched in as well just for being in the cell and letting that happen or letting it go ahead to the point of this jail now this jail is ruining lives it is killing the young people the young generation of this place is dead set terrorizing now look at this man 
Now, I understand w- why he's done this because, like, you know, it's really kill or be killed at some stage, at some stages. It's not like that all the time, but it's definitely like that at some stages. And, you know, if, if you're you're running a muck like these guys definitely are, you know, getting into the ice, this and that. And I guarantee you that's what brought this video on is that the ice usage would have made him feel 10 feet tall and, and whatnot. And he's made this video and it would have made a lot of people very unhappy. Um but, you know, I understand where he's coming from. He wants to get the message out there that 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 it's a deadly, dangerous place and it's it's ruining our our our, our youth and our young men's life and, and our grown men's life. And um, you know, he's trying to get a message out there, but but he definitely went about it the wrong way. Fifty years of jail. Why haven't the system fixed him? Why is he still back? Okay, you know I'm gonna tell you why he's still back? Well, there you go. His cellmate has done 50 years of jail, which means that guy's obviously nearly 70 years old, you know. Um, You can't go to prison unless you're 17, 18 years old. It's pretty much 18 years old and up now. But, you know, that guy's obviously fairly old and he's still sitting in prison. And I disagree with that as well. Like, um, you know, you see a lot of old people come in um, on domestic violence stuff, you know, with their wife. They've been with their wife for 50 years, blah, blah, blah. They break up with their wife. Next thing you know, they've got a domestic violence thing against them and they're in prison for for being a nuisance to their ex-wife or whatever. And you also see a lot of them come in on drink driving offences. And, you know, I think it's absolutely shocking that, that, that there's not some kind of a program where, you know, there's there's got to be some other, you know, alternative to prison as the end of all ends all the time. Do you know, it can't just end with prison. This guy's obviously done 50 years plus jail. So, like, that goes to show that there's been absolutely no rehabilitation. This is what the prison's supposed to do, rehabilitate you. There's been absolutely no rehabilitation. He's an absolute 100% recidivist reoffender. You can obviously see that there's an issue there. Um, if the, the judges can't see the outlining issue, you know, like there's obviously got to be some kind of alternative. That's what I think anyway. Because the system has never had a mobile phone broadcast live inside of every correctional centre. All right. Well, there you go, guys. That is, um, you know, inside Parkley Prison. But, you know, I would almost guarantee that it's like that in every single maximum security prison in our country. And, um, you know, I think I think like he's trying to explain there, it, we do have a dire problem there. You're sending youth like, like, like kids inside a man's prison and 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 this is the kind of thing that they have to go through so you know port phillip prison is also it's a sentence remand prison so it has prisoners on there on remand and also sentence prisoners so you know you could go there for for you know a stealing offence or, or a driving offence or something like that you're not a hardened criminal is what i'm saying like white collar criminal kid goes there on on shit crimes like that gets a shit legal team can't get bail is remanded in custody until his court case is finished which is going to take about 12 months now let me tell you something about spending 12 months in a place like port phillip when you are a kid i guarantee you the 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 boy that goes in there is either going to come out a hardened man or a crushed soul and there's no two ways about it and and that's exactly what happens and then as soon as they see this young person have a visitor you know they're going to press him into bringing bringing in um substances and and whatnot and you know and and then they're they're involved in a life that they can't get out of and and sometimes you know in order to stay in one piece and, and not get hurt by some people you've just got to adhere to the situation and take 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 action which is you know what i i did you know i went in there a one man a one man army and came out a one man army and you know yeah i did prison gangs this and that but like this is the lives what we're putting these young people into and that's my whole point my whole point is like there's got to be something that we can do I, I would love that there is something that i can do use my platform to 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 raise awareness that there's got to be something we can do to stop our our youth and our young men getting lost in this system and and not only that 
you know, if you're one of these youth that that are somewhat involved in crime, you know, you call yourself an esche, this or that, a lad, or you know, you you, you go around smoking cones with with your mates, and then next thing you know, you you're doing a couple of burglaries, or or you're smashing car windows to get change out of the console or whatever, and um. You know, like, oh, it just it just makes me wild. But like, my whole point is that 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 we I literally forgot my point of. But my whole point is that you know we have to we ha- there's got to be something that that we can do as a community. You know, and I think here at you know the Chaos Chronicles, we we all agree that there's something there's there's a real youth there's a problem with the youth at the moment. And um and don't get me wrong. I, I absolutely agree that, that there is a stage when when these youth are breaking into people's houses and hurting homeowners and stuff like that. That's one hundred percent different, I believe. And and when when they're using violence to 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 get ill gotten gains, then absolutely they should be treated accordingly. But but I think until it gets to that, you know, people going to to that was my point before, you know, people going to um, jail for white collar petty crimes should definitely not be getting sent into the lions, you know, with the hardened crooks that are there stabbing the shit out of each other on the daily. I just think that it's absolutely bonkers. And, you know, I would hope that there's something I can do about this on my page, you know, raise awareness. And it's exactly what I want to do. Just keep building this page. And, the more people that I get to watch my page, the more I can raise awareness on this situation. You know, I have three three young men myself, you know, um, teenagers and, you know, very young men, teenagers, and, and I've got a 21-year-old as well. You know, I've got a 21-year-old, a 19-year-old and a 16-year-old. So it's very concerning for me to know that, you know, there's there's no other option than prison, and I just think that that's absolutely bonkers. But anyway, guys, don't do drugs and crime, and you won't have to deal with this shit. But anyway, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. You've been absolutely awesome. But before I go, once again, if you haven't jumped up there and shot me a subscribe, jump up there and shoot me a subscription, subscription smash that bell, and that way you'll never miss any of my clips. And also, um, if you're interested in joining my membership um, program there, we have three different... Um, stages of um memberships and i have named them all after the um the the um the levels that they've got at port phillip so they start off on base and then you go to upper and then you go to enhance so that's what i've called mine and um yeah that really helps me to help my my page grow and if you are interested in doing that jump up there and smash that join button next to the subscription button and that should see you on your way anyway the cast chronicles we are I am also the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.